a new UAPAD robot communicate with Microsoft team very fast. You see what I have on the UAPAD robot. Let's run the UAPAD robot. And finish. And let's see what we have on Microsoft Teams. Hello from UAPAD robot. Hello, everyone. My name is Cristian Negulescu. And you know me for a lot of integration with Salesforce Service Now, Jira, and so on. I did a lot of videos about Microsoft Teams and Slack. Yeah. So I show you how to start a new iPad robot from Microsoft Teams. Yeah. How orchestrator can communicate with Microsoft Teams via webhook. And um, I did also the same stuff for Slack. And for Slack, I did something that um, uh, allow UAPAD Studio to communicate with Slack very fast. Yeah. So let's do the same stuff for Teams. So let's see how an um, a new iPad robot can communicate with Microsoft Teams very, very fast. Yeah. So let's see what we'll do. Basically, it's based on webhooks. Yeah. And I will uh, define a webhook. So I will go to the channel. I will go to connectors. And on the connectors, I will uh, say configure. I already have a webhook. And I will see, I will show you first how to remove a webhook. Yeah. So uh, I will remove the, the webhook. And I will create a new webhook. Yeah. So to, to understand the, the steps. So inside of my channel, on my channel, I go here on the connectors. I will go on the search and I have here incoming webhook. Yeah, and I will say the name of the webhook. The name will be uh, UiPath uh, Robot, like this, yeah? And I will say create, OK? So the system will create an address, an webhook, yeah? I will copy this address, and I will go to Postman. So on Postman, I will paste the address here, OK? And let's uh, let's copy the address also here on the um, on this one, done. And I want to send uh, uh, something to the to the channel. Yeah. So I will use post, and I would say hello uh, live on YouTube, live on YouTube. Okay. So hit send. I have a response one, and if I go here. Uh, I think I should write done. <laughs> I've been done before. And look, it, even if I don't say done, uh, the message was arrived. So hello, live on YouTube. Okay. So in this very simple way, I'm able to communicate one way to Microsoft Team very fast. So I will do this from UAPAD Studio. From UAPAD Studio, I will go to UAPAD Studio. I will create a new project to be uh, uh, to be a clean one. Yeah, and on your on your iPad Studio, I will uh, uh, I will uh, say um, MS Teams. So basically, I will add the web activity, and on the web activity, I just do an HTTP request. Yeah, that's the the main idea. Exactly like I did on the on the Slack. So I will go here to all the packages. I will say uh, web activity, web activity. Uh, wait a minute. So you uh, iPad web my bad. So you write you iPad that web and you find you iPad that web dot activities, yeah. And you install this one. After you install this one, you will have the HTTP request, yeah. And on the, the main here, uh, uh, let's open the main file. And on the main file, I will have the, I will put the HTTP request. I will drag and drop the HTTP request. On the HTTP request, I say that I want a post. I will put this as the endpoint, the endpoint that I receive from the um, configuration. And here I have to provide him an, um, a body. Yeah? So I will see that the body is JSON, JSON. And on the body, what we say there, it's a string. And inside of the string, I have to define the, uh, 
the JSON. Let's see what we have on the so text and hello YouTube. Yeah. And I will say uh, text dot uh, hello your iPad. Hello from your iPad with all the issues. Yeah, with all the miss my mistakes. Yeah. So I run it. And in this way, the UiPad robot, it's able to talk with Microsoft Teams very, very fast. So the idea is to have a very fast communication without having uh, component secure stuff and all this stuff, yeah? So if you like this, remember to follow me on the YouTube, subscribe to my channel and like my movies to provide you and tell me what else you want uh, to see on my channel. Remember that you have here an, um, a full tutorial how to start an UiPad robot on the orchestrator from Microsoft Teams and how to how orchestrator communicate with Microsoft Teams when something is happened, when a process is finished and so on. Yeah. And an example how to use the orchestrator webhooks. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. Bye bye. Stay safe.